How to add Google AdSense to your WordPress website. Easy tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm giving you a tutorial on how to add Google AdSense to your WordPress website. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is you will open up your WordPress website. You require a website, any kind of website you have, and you want to make money and run ads with Google AdSense. So we can add it to our WordPress website really easily. First of all, open the dashboard for your WordPress. This is my dashboard for a test website. So here with our dashboard, uh, first, I will actually want you to go to google.com slash AdSense and create an account on Google AdSense so that we can add it to our WordPress and we already have an account. So once you get to Google AdSense, you will get right here. Creating content takes time. Making it profitable shouldn't. So this is the official platform right here. To get started, you will click on this button right here. So I'll show you how to set up your Google AdSense and then we'll add it to your WordPress. Log in with your Google account. All right, so we have to add our website. This is where we will be entering our WordPress. So I'm just going to get the URL. Then you have to scroll down, get more out of AdSense. Yes, send me customized help and performance. No, I don't want customized help. So I'm going to get select this. Then you have to select your payment and country, like from where you will be getting the payment. So you will select your country here. Then we have terms and condition. Click on I agree. Start using AdSense. And there you go. You have your own Google AdSense account. It's really easy to use and to create an account right here. So I have added my WordPress website right here. You can see this is my main website and we can add more than one website on Google AdSense. We can also add our YouTube channels. So this is the website I am currently going for. See how the ads look on your site. So this is where I will be creating ads for my website, not creating ads, but setting up ads for our website. The ads are actually created by Google and different ads that Google runs. And we can simply make money with that. So you will actually just click on get started for the ads as well. Let Google place ads for you. You have all of your site. This is the site right here. Click on auto add and own it. Then we have page exclusion. You can add your page right here. Then we have edit option that will allow me to add ads and actually do the ad settings that how I want my ads to be placed where I want the ads to be placed on the website. So this is all the setup about Google AdSense. Once you're done right here, you're going to get back to your WordPress website. And here we're going to scroll down to the plugin because I think that's the easiest way to add Google AdSense. So I'm going to go to plugins and click on add new. In add plugins, we're going to search for Google AdSense. Okay, so the Google AdSense will be added in the site kit by Google. Now, this is the one that you need to install. It has 2 million active installation and is compatible with my WordPress version. So we're going to go with the site kit by Google. It has Google Analytics, Search Console and AdSense. Click on install now. It will just take a you know minute to install and then you're good to go. You can see SiteKit is actually by Google and it is a official plugin for all of the different apps from Google. Click on activate. So here we have our SiteKit. All right, you can see. Set up SiteKit, connect Google Analytics as a part of your setup. Or we can sign in with Google. So that's what I'm going to do. So you can see right here, SiteKit, view and manage uh, your console data, manage the list as well, primary Google account, associate with your personal info on Google. Click on continue. All right. So we just need to verify our website. You can see to verify that you own this website, Google adds a verification token to your site's HTML code. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on verify. Once you do that, Google will add a verification token. So this is a, an important step that you need to do in order to prove that you actually own this website. Turn on metrics in your dashboard. I'm going to click on allow and then we have setup. Let's go to the dashboard. All right. So here we have our site kit, which has been set up successfully. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the monetization and it will take me to Google AdSense. Click on connect now. Sign in with your Google account, click on continue, and you can see your AdSense is connected to your WordPress website. 
Now you need to go to your AdSense account and fix a few things and that's what I showed you. You need to go to the Google AdSense and you need to add some of the, you know, settings. You need to work on the sites and different the payment method. Once you set it up completely, then it will show you right here. I have connected my AdSense to my WordPress. Now I just need to set up my account right here on AdSense and we're good to go. This is how you can also go ahead and connect your Google AdSense to your WordPress website. It's really easy. You just need to install the plugin, which is Google Site Kit. It has AdSense for us. Then go to google.com slash AdSense and create your account. Then you will set up your account in order to run ads on your website. Running ad has different criteria and it also has some of the rules and eligibility. So make sure that you actually fulfill all of these different things and then you will be able to run ads on your website and make money. Google AdSense actually monetizes your blog, your website, your YouTube channel to help you make money and it is powered by Google. And so the traffic you get is organic. The, the money, of course, is going to be organic. There is nothing uh, you know not legit there it's everything is organic and you will be able to make money so go ahead and connect your google adsense to your wordpress website the way i just showed you you just require your google account and you just need to sign in to everything to your google account and that's how you can connect your g site kit to your wordpress and get google adsense to run ads so we can click on review adsense account as well and it will take me to the ads you can see right here again and we need to set up these things first tell us about you these are the things that they're saying are not set up connect your site to adsense click on let's go request a review now on google adsense before you actually run ads on a website you have to send a request for the review they review your website they check if you are eligible or not and then they will run ads on the website so we can actually add more than one website as well and you can monetize them if you want then we have the report section right here with google adsense that gives me the reports of my website that i have added the entire account by day top pages sites countries a platform forms then we have analytics according to different uh, you know ad formats and sizes types so all of the different factors are measured in our reports by google ads and so it's all in one platform a really good platform by google that helps us monetize our wordpress website so you can add it with your g site kit on wordpress so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you i tried to do everything about the topic and i hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go and don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to also you can subscribe to the youtube channel the button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the youtube channel also hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 